While we were working at Martin Marietta prior to Martech starting in 1985, uh, we had a contract from NASA uh, to use algae, photosynthetic algae, as part of a closed environmental life support system. Uh, primarily, they were interested in being able to use the photosynthetic nature of the algae to convert carbon dioxide from the astronauts back into oxygen. At that time, uh, when Martech started, we were in the process of extending the project that once we produced the oxygen for the astronauts, the question was, what do you do with the algae? And the simple answer, of course, was you eat it. You consume it as food. Uh, so we began to look into the nutritional properties of algae. Well, one thing led to another, and we started to connect the dots that algae make unique fatty acids. These same fatty acids are important in human central nervous system development. And then finally, the last key was most central nervous system development occurs in utero before birth. Many babies are fed commercial infant formula, and postpartum there's continued development of the central nervous system and current, at the time, infant formula did not contain these essential fatty acids. So we connected all the dots here that algae makes something unique. It's important for um, central nervous system development in both in utero as well as postpartum and that these fatty acids were not present in commercial infant formula at the time. So we saw a path here to um, develop a process, find an organism, develop a process, and be able to scale up and eventually commercialize something that we saw as being very important in human nutrition. Much of the early research focused on the brain uh, and, and infant development, but then it expanded to uh, toddlers and children, um, brain-related functions, behavioral functions, uh, and also to aging adults, aging humans, and, and the benefits for cognition during aging that DHA in particular seems to confer. Uh, and, and then it expanded further into m many more health domains, so cardiovascular health, reducing uh, risk factors for heart disease uh, has been an active area of research, um, and uh, you know, Basically, every other organ system in the body has, has been investigated uh, because you know, DHA is a, is a component of all, basically, all cells. EPA and DHA are, are components of all cell membranes and cells, and they're important for the function. There's been now, I think, something like 20,000 papers published uh, in, you know, in this omega-3 field in particular. Today, hundreds of food, beverage, supplement, and infant formula companies from around the globe feature these important fatty acids, making it easier for consumers to obtain these nutrients and benefit from them through every stage of life.